Hi guys, this is Robbie from Umberger and today's session is about new Recordbot workset skill. With new Recordbot release, you can use all path recording function directly on those and teach pendant. Let's begin with installation procedure. If this is the first time that you are using Recordbot on a certain robot, you must first install Recordbot firmware. So let's open DR Hall Studio. You can download the latest version of DR Hall Studio from the Umberger app website. Be sure to be connected to the internet in order to download the latest version of all power apps. So go here on the power app library. You will receive this notification about updating Recordbot Library Power Up. So let's update it. Okay, here it is. Now we need to connect to the Dozen robot. So let's switch the Wi Fi and let's connect the Umberger app now. Okay, now insert correct robot IP address and Homberger app IP address and connect. In order to upload the recordbot firmware, we need to take control of the robot. So push on this icon. On the robot teach pendant, a notification asking for transferring control will appear. Accept it. Now we are connected to the robot, so we can install Recordbot firmware. Go here on Recordbot icon and click on Install Recordbot on Robot. This will take a few seconds and then the firmware will be installed on your robot. Okay, firmware has been installed. Finally, we need the workset skill of Recordbot so we can use all the features on the robot task builder. So let's insert a USB drive on the PC. Okay, here it is. And then go on Power Up Library, search for the Recordbot Power Up. And click on works as skill. You will be asked where to save the skills, so let's save it on our USB device. Okay. Now we need to install the record box skills inside Dozen Robot. So insert the USB device inside the robot control box and then go to settings and search for work cell item skills. Go on install and this will find the skills inside the USB file. Select it and go on with it. Ok, after installation, restart the robot. Now we have all the elements to start our path recording application. Let's create a new program with Task Builder. I will call it Path Recording Confirm. Ok, so now we take the first point of our program, the starting position. And it will be a move J command. Get pause and confirm. Then we will move the robot in the approach position. It will be a move L command. 
false confirm. We can perform now the real path recording. So let's go down with all the commands and under basic scale you will find the record button. So add this command to your program and go on property. You are requested to input a name, so each record bot command must have a different name. In this case, I will call this at one. Okay. To start the record bot application, just click on record. The record bot application will appear directly on Robot Teach Panel. So we just have to connect, give control to the record application. Ok, so now we are connected. We can switch on the record tab and let's click on Servo on to turn on the robot motor. To start a recording session, just click on Record. You will see here this signal meaning that the recording session is started. When you're done, to stop the recording, just click on Stop. You will see the recorded path appear here. You can click on it to see its properties. We can have a preview of the path. So click on Preview. And this is the path that we have just recorded. You can see, for example, here and here, there are some points that are not aligned and are not smooth. So, here we have um, some filters that we can use to adjust and modify the trajectory. So, for example, we can use the smoothing filter. Okay. And see the difference. So you see now the points are much more smooth. We can have a direct comparison with the previous trajectory. Okay. And also we don't need to have all this kind of points. Fewer points are enough for a good use. So we can use the minimum distance filters to filter out some unnecessary points. Ok, let's see the preview. Ok, this is good. We can also choose the desired velocity. So, for example, we can use 100 mm second velocity. And we can force to have a constant velocity profile. In this way, we are sure that all the trajectory will be executed at constant velocity. When you are done setting all the properties, you can test the trajectory directly on the robot. So click on Test Segments. To stop a running simulation, you can just click on Stop. When you are satisfied with your trajectory, you can just click on Save and then exit from the record book. Withdraw control of the robot. And now all your recorded path has been saved inside this command. So every time the program go inside this command, your path will be executed. 
we can add a final point to our program. To the approach, and it will be a more J command. Finally, we can go on the Play tab and run the wall application. We can improve our application using force control. Sometimes it's required that the tool stays in contact on the surface applying a desired force. We can achieve this kind of behavior using compliance control and then apply an offset on the recorded trajectory. So let's do it. To apply the compliance control, we need to add compliance command before the record button. Okay, we will turn it on and we will apply the fault values. Then we will apply the offset to the recording project. So select the record button command and open again the record button application. Let's move on the record tab, select the path, OK, and click on Enable Offset and apply an offset, in this case, in the right direction and apply a 5 mm offset. You can see the result in the preview. So, if I plot the original path, you see that now our path is inside the original trajectory. In this way, using the compliance, we'll be sure to stay always in contact with the, with the surface applying a certain force. So let's save. Exit and then move on the plate up and run again the whole program. 